Okay, welcome back to another course vlog here at Pebble Beach this time. Now, this was a real treat. I was out there for some work um, and my wife was actually with me. We had no intentions of playing, but course looked kind of empty. So we walked out and asked and there was times available. So we snagged the last available time. Um, it is a windy day, so I will do the voiceover because the audio is horrible. There is no warm up before this, but here we go right underway on number one. So this is a three iron first swing of the day. And it was very kind of like modestly speed. You know, I wasn't going after that, but it's right up the middle of the fairway. Probably the best shot I've hit on this opening hole ever. And there was no warm up. Uh, note the score in the bottom right. For some reason, it won't let me type in even. Just does minus one or plus one. So we'll fix that. But 128 yards to the hole. So I took a soft gap wedge. You can see the flag's not moving much, but I think there was a lot of wind up top because this one just flew the green. And now when we see the flag, you're going to see that there is quite a bit of wind. So this is just a downhill lie. Going to hit this low down the slope. Yeah, so now you can see the flag just starting to blow. Um, so I think that's why I flew the green, but really nice chip. Again, with zero chipping warm-up, zero putting warm-up, to start out with a nice par like that was really refreshing. Second hole playing it as far back as I could is 509. Again, downwind, I hit this thing at the left bunkers thinking if I put it in the left bunker, it's fine. OB comes into play right, but I got 138 into the hole right in the center of the fairway. Couldn't hit this drive better. Really funky wedge swing, but it ended up really good. Um, it was another gap wedge. So 138 hit the smooth gap wedge. Um, Actually thought it was even closer than this, but had a really good look for Eagle and barely missed this thing on the low side. It looked good the whole way, uh, really broke hard at the end. So now we're actually one under par after two. So third hole, hard dog leg left. I'm hitting this thing basically at the tallest tree, 404 yards, kind of back into the wind. But again, I hit this drive exceptionally well. At this point, I'm sort of laughing that I'd had no warm up, and I'm hitting the ball so well. Couldn't have been any better. It's like a 35 yard chip shot, 40 yard chip shot. Um, I'm trying to hit a 57 degree, and I just chunk it. Um, this is going to be kind of like a theme of looking back at the round. It's easy to say this, but I was trying to hit the quote unquote right club. So the 57, I was thinking like hit it on the front, chip it back, or let it roll back. Um, and I don't practice that shot a lot. So long long birdie putt that I misread. You can kind of see it work back at the end, but I was surprised. Um, but with the wedges, I'm trying to hit shots that maybe I shouldn't. I should just hit sort of the shot I always hit instead of um, one that I think should be the correct shot. So still one under. 331, I've got a mini driver. Um, the wind is back at our back. I heal this one a little bit, but it's a little cut. So I'm sitting there thinking, you know, blow right, blow right. It one hops into the bunker. So it's a, it's a good shot. The bunker shot is challenging because I'm sort of on a down slope. It didn't make its way too far into the bunker and I've got a long shot downwind. So I hit it nice. It just clears the edge and then just, you'll see it roll out. Um, so, Yes, I could hit a better bunker shot for sure, um, but I wasn't too mad about that. I did have a look at this. Um, I think I watched somebody's putt before me break quite a bit, and mine didn't break quite like I had thought it would. So all in all, uh, decent par. Not, not too frustrated with that. All right, 195, hole five, still one under par. I've got an eight iron wins at her back. So I'm thinking just a nice soft eight iron. And I absolutely flag this. Um, maybe the best iron I hit all day. Lands just short left of the flag. You can see the playing partner raise his hand. He thought it was going in. I thought it was going to go in. And it kind of just rolls past the hole. Uh, as soft as I hit it with as much wind, it kind of rolled out. Another putt that I thought was going to break a bit more than it did. You can see me leaning with it and just kind of left it on the high side. 
I hit the putt I wanted. It just didn't break like I, I thought it would after watching somebody else's putt from the other side of the hole. Sixth hole, 530. Wind hard off our right. So I'm sending it on purpose up on the left hill. Um, probably not the way the hole was intended to be played. But trying to leave myself a, a for sure shot and trying to get myself up on top of the hill. I've got 198 and I've got a five iron. Now the wind is dead into us and I hit this thing and think it's just murdered. So from 198, it came out hot and low and I'm thinking it's over the green, but it's on the back edge. Really, really happy with that outcome considering what it looked like. It looked like a screamer. Um, this putt is straight downwind and I hit it a bit harder than I would have liked and I think the wind had a bit of play in that. Um, and this one just barely sneaks in to go two under. Uh, super happy with that putt sneaking in. Hole seven, 109 yards. I've got a little lob wedge. This is kind of playing downwind from the right. And I hit this perfect. Um, thinking the wind is just going to send it, but it lands short, hits the bank, and bounces back into the bunker. Not the best lie in the bunker kind of plop it out in the, even in the fringe and it rolls out maybe 10 feet past the hole. But going back to that tee shot, I thought it was, I thought it was perfect. Um, so now I've got a tough one for par. You can see me stop. It's windy enough to back me off the ball because the ball was oscillating on the green. <clears throat> but what is that? 10, 10 or 12 feet. And I smashed this thing in the back of the hole. I'm laughing because I, I would have been six feet by. But we're lucky to stay at two under. So the eighth hole's fun, 428. I almost hit driver to try and see if I could get it past the canyon up the left, um, but decided to just hit a soft three iron. Didn't hit it particularly well. Got about 200 yards in and I've got a six iron. That's The wind is hard down off our left. So you can see the flag and I hit it at the left corner of that left bunker thinking the wind would push it. And you can see it land over there and kind of release over on the hill. Wasn't mad with the strike, just surprised the wind didn't blow the ball. Um, got a severe downhill lie to a green running away. I thought I could hit this shot and have it check more than it did. Looking back and thinking about it, I probably should have hit something a lot higher and softer. But it is what it is. Um, wasn't a bad chip. It wasn't as bad as it turned out. I actually didn't hit it much different than I wanted. Hit a great putt here and just catch the bottom lip. Thought that was going in, but it's a bogey. It's a understandable bogey. Not the best tee shot, not the best second, um, and not the best chip, so bogey. Now, 529, playing this back from the U.S. Open tees on hole nine, and I hit kind of like a thin, spinny cut, but since it's downwind so much, it kind of hung in the air forever. And at 526, I think I've only got like 145 yards in off this downhill lie. At 145 downhill lie downwind I've got that same gap wedge and I'm just basically trying to flight one low and run it up almost I don't want to say run it up but bounce it up lands on the front edge and just stops um, I'm happy with that I didn't want to go long so longish birdie putt not really trying to make it just trying to lag it close and it breaks way more than I thought now this is probably one of the dumber things I did all day is just walk up and putt this. I, I'm sort of surprised looking back that I did this. And again, just barely sneak it in the low edge. So we're one under on the front. Some good stuff, some bad wedges, but overall, uh, great front nine. Come on back for part two where we flip the corner and start playing straight into the wind.